and now gets another chance after we've been knocked out of the 1974 tournament. Eight of that Italian team played in the match in Turin. Bellucci and Calcio coming on as substitutes on that occasion. Notable absentees are Mazzola, Anastasi and M Morini, all of whom are injured. And there's been quite an argument about the number of substitutes allowed, but in the end, three from the referee. Staying as they were in the kick-in. So England in the white shirts attacking the goal to our right. And already the crowd are given plenty of evidence that England will get a lot of support tonight from them. McFarland. Bell. This is the tenth meeting between the two countries. Bell. Shannon in the middle, so is Osgood. A little bit too comfortable for the goalkeeper. Rivera. in and it deserved to be it was a very good shot right foot plenty of power hit the stanchion at the back but the wrong side of the netting from England this spot Riva the danger perhaps coming in on it now away by McFarland the free kick given for the shirt ball again Bubnitz stepping in, Shannon, being forced across the line, Curry, the chance for shots, good one and good save. England being closely marked, sparring for the openings, and one came there for Curry on the right side. He saw it, went for the only possible position and produced a good save. Peters, and the fields for the push. They still present a great challenge to any side, as far as far as are concerned. It's Kinalia. Riva, it's a good shot, and a goal! Kinalia's cross, and Capello has scored! He really cracked that across the box. Shilton lost it, look at the power of the low cross. Shilton lost it, and Capello wasn't quite as easy as it looked, but easy enough. Maidley, Bell, and the corner, Hector was beaten to it by Spinozzi. Italia. And the Italians in possession as the final whistle is blown. And there's the man who gives Italy a notable victory.